In this example problem of projectile motion, we're given some information about the launch of a ball, ball one, 21 meters per second at an angle of 39 degrees above the ground. This ball tracks a parabola, reaches the top of its motion, the highest point. At that highest point, it collides with ball number two that's been launched vertically straight upward at 26 meters per second. So we want to calculate that height where, uh, where the ball hits, and we're going to calculate the time delay between the launch of ball two and ball number one. So the first calculation you've perhaps seen before, working on the uh, height of the, uh, the motion for ball number one, our start here is to get a horizontal and vertical velocity, um, the vertical velocity especially, at the top of the motion, the vertical velocity in the y direction is zero. I'll be working this problem with up being the positive direction. The vertical velocity at the launch is found by creating a right triangle here. And we want the opposite side to 39 degrees. So our v naught y is here. In a right triangle, the sine of 39 degrees is related to the uh, length of the opposite side to the angle divided by the hypotenuse. So if we multiply both sides by the hypotenuse, 21 meters per second, we can have an expression for calculating the y velocity. And that y velocity is 13.22 meters per second. 13.22 meters per second. <clears throat> so how can we come up with the maximum height? We have four kinematic equations. We do not know the time to get to the maximum height. So we're going to pick equation number four. We know the final velocity is zero. We've calculated the initial velocity. We know the acceleration is minus 9.8 meters per second squared in the y direction. So we have that information, 13.22 squared for the initial velocity in the y direction. Be sure you put a minus on the uh, value for the acceleration due to gravity. We're working this problem with positive being upward. The acceleration is downward. And we get the y at the top. I'm choosing to have y equal zero at the ground. So square this number, subtract that from both sides. 2 times minus 9.8 is minus 19.6. Divide both sides by minus 19.6 and we find that it's 8.92 meters above the ground. That's the y position when we're at the top of the motion. So let's, con let's continue this uh, problem. So calculate the time the second ball was launched after the launch of the first ball. So, so what's our time delay? If we want the ball to hit ball number two to hit ball number one at the, uh, at the maximum height position. Well, ball number two I'm going to use equation number three. We're interested in a time value here. And in this problem, we for ball number two, we do not know the velocity at the top of the motion. Ball number two is launched at 26 meters per second. But if ball number one wasn't there, it would keep on going. So we do not know the final velocity for ball number two. So we pick equation number three. It does not have the final velocity uh, variable in it. So we know that the um, position where we are is 8.92. And this is working vertically. We found that from the height of the uh, ball number one. We had zero for the initial. We're at ground level when the ball is launched. We're launching at 26 meters per second. We have unknown time, and then we have uh, 1 half g, 1 half times minus 9.8. That's minus 4.9. So do a little rearranging of this. We come up with a quadratic equation. I did not try to factor it. Uh, that's one way. But the more general way is to use the quadratic formula. And in this, we have minus always. We write in the b number, the coefficient of t to the first power. So now we include that minus sign. And then b squared minus 4ac. And it is important to pay attention to the plus and minus signs that we have here. So 
I've added 4.9 t squared to both sides, so that's a positive 4.9. I've subtracted 26 t from both sides, so that's minus 26 t on the left. So b is a negative number. But it gets squared in here, that's a positive. We're going to subtract off this amount. And then we have 2a, 2 times the coefficient of the t squared on the bottom. So minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a, standard quadratic formula that you can uh, look up. When you calculate here and take a square root, you get 22.4. If I use the plus sign for this, or the minus sign, I'll get two different answers. So with the minus sign, 26 minus 22.4 divided by 9.8, I get 0.37 seconds. If I use the plus sign, then I have 26 plus 22.4, that result divided by 9.8, and let's put my paper just a little bit more here. I get 4.94 seconds. There are two times when this ball is 8.92 meters above the ground. Why is that? Why is the mathematics telling us that, that there are two times when the ball is at this position? Well, this calculation has no collision in it. So the first time is the, here, the ball is here going up. The ball continues to go up and then comes back down. And the longer time is when the ball again has this position of 8.92 meters. So it's the first one that is uh, useful here. We're going to collide. So 0.37 seconds is that, uh, that value. What about ball number one? What's its time to the maximum height? Well, if I use the first kinematic equation, v equals v naught plus at, the acceleration is minus 9.8. We know from the components that the vertical y velocity is 13.22. So we can calculate 1.35 seconds. That's how long it takes ball number one to get to the collision point to get to the highest point. Well, we can't launch ball number two too early. We have to wait. We have to wait such that um, ball number one will be at the high point when we get there. Ball number two is taking 0.37 seconds to get up to the top. So if we wait 0.98 seconds, fire ball number two, it travels upward 0.37 seconds, and ball number one will be at the maximum height. Again, ball number two takes 0.37 seconds going straight up. Ball number two takes 1.35 seconds to travel over to the maximum height position. So we subtract those and we get the uh, correct result. Try it on your own calculator. 0.98 seconds is what we have to wait until we launch ball number two. So if you're having questions on this, you know, there are other videos that are listed, example problems, nothing to buy on these sites. It's free, no registration. Uh, but lists of physics videos, list of astronomy videos, if you'd like to uh, explore that area as well. Be sure to ask your instructor if you're having questions. And keep working. Lots of problems on your own.